Hi guys, Chris here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be playing Phase 10 Chooses Your TBR. If you're new to the channel, I will link the playlist with the first two rounds of Phase 10 Chooses My TBR below. This is my second time recording this video as the first time I recorded this video, there was no audio. So I'm hoping to go through it a little bit faster this time. And yeah, so let's just get right into things. As you can see, guys, we have a new setup here. I've made like a board. My phase that I'm working on will go over here. The prompts are all up here. These are the cards I'm going to draw, and this is where the cards for my punishment roll will go if I have a punishment roll, which last month I did. This is set up for last month's board, so now I'm going to take down the cards from last month. These are all the extra prompts that I'm going to fill the board up with, so let's give them a shuffle. If you guys have any ideas for prompts, please let me know and I will add them to this pile. Now all the prompts are on the board. Here's my draw pile. We're gonna shuffle this up. We're going to get started. First up, I have a green three. Let's see, the prompt for green three is lowest rated. For lowest rated, I'm going to be reading Flying by Carrie Jones. This is about a girl who's really protected by her mom and then everything starts to go wrong and she ends up finding out there are some sort of aliens and it does not have a great Goodreads rating, but I will have to see if what I think of it. So we'll replace that. In case I get another green three. Next, a yellow two. Yellow two is a historical fiction not set during World War II. That'll be different. To figure out what book I wanted to read for historical fiction not set in World War II, I went to my physical TBR, looked at my historical fiction books, and the one I came up with is To Capture What We Cannot Keep by Beatrice Collin. This book is set in February 1886 against the backdrop of the Eiffel Tower being built, so it obviously has nothing to do with World War II. I literally know nothing else about it. I just picked a historical fiction that was not set in World War II. Next... Wild, which means I'm going to have a punishment roll. We'll get to that. Next up, a blue one. So this is the prompt that I'm taking instead of my wild. So blue one. And we have a book with people on the cover. For people on the cover, I'm going with My Teacher is an Alien by Bruce Coville. As you can see, there are two people on this cover. This is the first book in the My Teacher is an Alien series. This is one of 
my favorite series from childhood. It's been a very long time since I've read these books and I don't remember a lot of the finer details. There was a point in time when I could have told you who these people were. Obviously the premise of this book is that the kids find out that their teacher is an alien and I'm really looking forward to diving back into a childhood fave. Next, a blue three. Blue three is a book with a large cast of characters. For a book with a large cast of characters, I'm going to be reading Unlocked by Shannon Messenger. This is book 8.5 in the Keepers of the Lost Cities series. This series follows Sophie, who has the ability to read minds, and she's the only person she knows that can do that, and she can't tell anybody she can do that, and one day she finds a boy who also has the ability to read minds, and she learns why she has that ability and finds out a lot more about her life than she realized. I really love this series. I read the first book back in March, and since then I have just devoured the whole thing, so I'm really looking forward to diving back into Sophie's world. Next, we have another wild, which is another punishment roll. This is a bad month, a very, very bad month. <laughs> Next is a skip. Oh, thank God. I'm going to need that skip. It means I get to skip a prompt. Next is a red 11. Okay, next is a 9 means I can put it over here. I need one more card and I can fulfill that prompt. I need one more card and I will have completed my phase. And if that happens, that means I can skip another one of my prompts, which I could really use this month. I'm going to go with a blue two. And blue two is friend pick. For friend pick, I sent my friend four book options, and the one they chose is A Boy Called Christmas by Matt Haig. Um, I sent her the Goodreads description, and it talked about um, a magical Christmas tale filled with impossible things. And she said, after the way the year 2020 has gone, a magical Christmas e book filled with impossible things sounded like a perfect read. I know this is about a boy named Nicholas whose dad goes missing, and he has to go rescue him from the North Pole. I just realized that you couldn't hear it because I cut it out, but the garbage is being picked up. So I had to pause and I realized I forgot to take off the prompt for Red 11. So Red 11 was a classic. For classic, I am going to read A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. I've seen lots of movie adaptations of this book. So obviously I know the story, but I've never actually read the source material. So when I saw Classic came up and we're in December, I figured this was the perfect time to finally read A Christmas Carol. Next is a red four. Red four is food or drink on the cover. For food and drink on the cover, I am going to read Shiloh Season by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor. I don't know if you guys can see, but there are cans of dog food on the cover. So I'm stretching this a little bit, but this is definitely food for this dog. This is the second book in the Shiloh Quartet and Shiloh is another series that I really loved as a kid. In December, I'm trying to do some rereads of my childhood favorites. So I figured since this had food on the cover, I would dive back into this series. <clears throat> Next is another wild. I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Never did I think that I was going to pull three wilds. <sighs> Okay, next is a yellow eight. And yellow eight is a thriller slash mystery. 
For Thriller and Mystery, I'm going to read Jolly Foul Play by Robin Stevens. This is the fourth book in the Murder Most Unladylike series. This series follows Hazel and Daisy as they solve murders. I've really enjoyed the first three books in this series, so I figured this is the perfect time to pick up the fourth. Next, a green one. That is Young Adult. For Young Adult, I'm going to be reading Heartstopper Volume 2 by Alice Oseman. This follows two boys, Nick and Charlie. I read the first book a few months ago and really loved it and immediately requested Volume 2 from my library. It came in, so I'm really looking forward to diving back into Nick and Charlie's story. <clears throat> and what I'm hoping is my last regular draw a yellow 11. Which is adult. For adult, I have decided to read The Switch by Beth O'Leary. Um, I believe in this book, it's about a grandmother and a granddaughter, and neither one of them is super happy with the life they're leading, so they switch houses and the granddaughter goes and stays at her grandma's place in more of a rural setting and grandma comes and stays at her place in a more city setting. I've heard it compared to the movie The Holiday, which I really liked. And I really also loved The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary, so I'm hoping I love this book of hers too. So those were my main books. As you saw, I drew a lot of wild, so let's hope that Phase 10 is kind to me and I don't have to read too many extra books this month. It's time for punishment roll number one. Since I can get up to six books, I may be adding up to 18 books to my TBR. Here's hoping that it's kind to me. My first roll is a two. So for the first wild, I have to draw two more prompts. The first of those prompts is a red six. Ugly cover. First up was Ugly Cover, and for this I'm going to be reading My Teacher Flunk the Planet by Bruce Coville. I really do not like this cover. This is the fourth book in the My Teachers and Aliens series, and I'm really looking forward to reading the conclusion of this series. Next up for Wild Roll number one is another Wild. fantastic. I wish when I actually played this game that I pulled wilds as often as I'm pulling them right now. Okay. I have completed a phase. So I will obviously be using the yellow one. And that gives me A fantasy. Next, for fantasy, I'm going to read The Christmas Saurus by Tom Fletcher. This is about a boy who asked Santa for a dinosaur for Christmas. And I'm assuming that since I don't actually remember any stories of Santa bringing real live dinosaurs to kids for Christmas, that this definitely has some fantastical elements. And I was really excited to get another Christmas book on my TBR for December. Give me a second. I'm going to reset the board with my 10 new cards as all of these cards, all of the cards from my old prompts from the last two months of Phase 10 Chooses My TBR um, will be put back in the deck. The deck will be shuffled and I'll have a new 10 cards in just a second. Okay, so here we go. We're going to shuffle the cards. Now Phase 2 is a set of three and a run of four. So. So, I have my set of three, which is the 12, so let's stick them up.
and I'm getting a little bit of luck here because I'm not even gonna have to stick them up. As you can see, there's my run of four. And then I can add the six in and the wilds completes my run. So I have completed this phase, which I really needed because it'll cover two of the prompts along with my skip that I can now not do. Phase three is one set of four and a run of four. So let's see my 10 cards. Okay, so this is a lot more messy. This is gonna be trickier, so it makes it a little more fun. Let's get my cards up on the board. As you can see, I have a couple of options for my set of four. Unfortunately, all of them are currently involved in my best case scenario for a run of four. Okay, so that's the first wild done. So we'll take these and we'll move them over here. The second wild is also a two. First up, ooh, I think I'm gonna stick with the nines since I have three of them. So we're gonna go with a blue 12. And blue 12 is nonfiction. For nonfiction, I'm hoping to read Stamped from the Beginning, The Definitive History of Racist Ideas in America by Ibram X. Kendi. I requested this book back in July. I've heard a lot of good things about it. However, it is a 500 plus page nonfiction book. So if I don't get all the way through this, I will be using one of my skips on this, though I'm hoping I won't have to because I've been really looking forward to checking this book out. Next is a blue two. That doesn't do me much good over there. So we'll plop it on here. And blue two. It's color wheel. Next up, as you saw, I got Indigo, and for this, I'm going to be reading The Naughty List by Michael Fry and Bradley Jackson. I believe this is an indigo-ish color. If not, I'm gonna go for it. Let's see, uh, I knew nothing about it. I just was adding Christmas books to my TBR. So it says, are you on the list? When Bobby's bumbling efforts to save her brother's Christmas actually land him on Santa's naughty list, you must travel to the North Pole to make things right again and save Christmas. Bobby suddenly finds herself on an epic adventure complete with rogue elves, dysfunctional reindeer, a lazy Santa, and more. But in the end, she learns what it really means to have Christmas spirit and that magic has its limitations. I'm very curious to see what Bobby wanted magic to do that it apparently can't do since magic has its limitations. And I'm looking forward to, to checking this book out and hopefully finding out that it's more than just Indigo. Okay, so that's Punishment Wild number two. Oh, just so we're keeping track here. Let's do Punishment Wild number three. Four. First up, we have a yellow seven. Nope, that's blue. Whoops. Dark cover. For dark cover, I'm going to be reading Black Sun by Rebecca Romhorse. I had hoped to read this for Tome Topple last month, but the audiobook on script was not working for me, so I requested it from my library, and unfortunately it did not get here in time for me to try to squeeze it into my Tome Topple TBR. However, it did get here in time for me to put it on my December TBR. I know this is a book written by an Indigenous author, and that it is a fantasy, and it says that it's inspired by civilizations of the pre-Columbian Americans, and woven into a tale of celestial prophecies, political intrigue, and forbidden magic. 
I know a lot of people wrote this for Tom Topple and everybody seemed to really like it. So I'm looking forward to seeing what I think of it this month. Next, a green 12. Maybe I should have gone for 12s. Nature on the cover or in the title. For Nature on the cover, I'm going to read Frederick Bachman's The Deal of Lifetime. As you can see, there's a tree on the cover. This is a very short 65 page novella. I figure with a the amount of books on my TBR already and the fact that some of them are quite big that this would be the perfect time to stick this little tiny thing on there. I've read a couple of other of Bachman's books and really enjoyed them. I don't know anything about this and given that it's so short I don't really want to but I'm hoping I like this as much as I've liked the other couple of books I've read by him. Okay I'm keeping this one. because it goes well with my six and my seven. So I will swap it out for a red pen. The red pen is a TBR vet. For TBR vet, I'm going to read Dawn by Aaron Hunter. This is the third book in the second arc of six in the Warrior series. The Warrior series are about forest cats that live together in clans and they take care of their clan mates but they don't always get along with the other clans so they have to deal with those problems. I've been working my way through a reread this year and so when TBR Vet came up it was a no-brainer to stick one of these books on my TBR. And my last for this roll is a red six. is Try Again Author. As you saw, I drew Try Again Author. I'm definitely using one of my skips for this. I have no desire to read a book by another author that I've already disliked or dn a book from before. I really struggled to find a book that I was willing to read last month and I ended up hating that book. So I didn't want to do it again this month. So I knew when this came up, I was definitely using a skip on it. I'm not even going to put down an idea for a book for this one. Okay, we'll once again move these. Off to the side. And for my final wild, we have, please be a small number, three. Let's replace, I see I have an empty blue two here. Apparently I forgot to refill that spot. First up, first up is a skip. Does mean I have to draw an extra card, but it does give me an extra skip this month, bringing me up to four skips. Really should have gone for those 12s. <laughs> a blue 12. Space on the cover. For space on the cover, I'm going to read My Teacher Glows in the Dark. As you can see, there's a little bit of a moon here or some kind of planet. So that definitely counts as space on the cover. This is the third book in the My Teacher is an Alien series. And I was excited to have an excuse to stick another one of them on my TBR. Red knot or yellow nine. So there's my set of four. And I'll go with my yellow 12. And we have A to Z title. For A to Z title, you saw I got the letter K. First, I went to my physical TBR to see if I had any books that started with the letter K and I didn't. Then I went to my want to read shelf on Goodreads and checked under the letter K and the book that stood out to me is Kenzie Kickstarts a Team by Kit Rosewater. I believe this is a middle grade graphic novel 
And based on the cover, I think that Kenzie starts a roller derby team. I could be wrong as I don't quite remember what the description said, but I figured a middle grade book is definitely going to be easier to get through with how many I already have on my TBR and graphic novels are also easier to get to. So why not stick it on my TBR? And what I'm hoping is my very last draw this month. A green five. So my set of four are nines. My run of four is five, six, seven, eight. And I will go with a green 11 as my last prompt. And it is red on the cover. We'll replace that. And lastly, I got red cover. And for this, I'm going to read The Girl Who Saves Christmas by Matt Haig. As you can see, the cover is red. This is the second book in the Christmas series. A Boy Who Called Christmas is already on my TBR for this month. So I don't know anything about this book as I haven't read the first book in the series. So I obviously did not read the description for the second book. Hopefully I will enjoy the first book and the second one as well. As you can see, I have a lot of books on my TBR. I have two skips, one of which I'm going to use on try again author and the other one I'm going to use on one of these if I have to. I also completed two phases. This means I can either skip a prompt or I can swap out a book mid-month but I can only do it twice because I finished two phases. So for instance if I really hated A Boy Called Christmas and I didn't want to read The Girl Who Saved Christmas I could then use one of my completed phases to swap out for a different book with a red cover. I don't have intentions right now to say I'm definitely going to skip these books or swap these books out. I'm hoping to get to all of them, but I'm glad that I have the ability to skip books should I need to. There are also some other books that I hope to get to this month. I'm going to run through them very quickly. I have Shiloh, Saving Shiloh, and Shiloh Christmas, which are the first, third, and fourth book in the Shiloh series by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor. I'm hoping to get through the whole thing this month, so those three books are also on my TBR. I have Father Christmas and Me by Matt Haig. This is the third book in the Christmas series. Since I owned all three of them, I figured this was the perfect time to get through all three of them since the first two are already on my TBR. My Teacher Fried My Brains by Bruce Coville is the second book in my Teacher is an Alien series. To finish the third and fourth book, I have to read this one, so I will most likely get to this one this month. I also hope to get to Starlight, Twilight, and Sunset by Aaron Hunter. This, those are books four, five, and six in the second arc of six books in the Warrior series. That would complete that arc for me. I would also like to get to Mutts and Mistletoe by Natalie Cox, which I believe is a Christmas romance that involves dogs. Um, 25 Days Till Christmas by Poppy Alexander. Firefight by Brandon Sanderson. The Wild Ones by C. Alexander London. And A Tale of Witchcraft by Chris Kofler. As I've had those out from the library for a little bit and would really like to read them and return them. And lastly, 12 Slays of Christmas by Jacqueline Frost. There are also two other books I hope to get to as I started them earlier this year and I would like to go into January with no books that I started before the month of December. They are Wayward Spirits by Wendy Wang, which is the second book in the Witches of Palmetto Point series, and Spirit by Bridget Kemmer, which is book three in the Elemental series. Obviously, I have an incredibly ambitious TBR, so I don't know if I will be getting to all of these books, as I would also like to do things besides read over this holiday season, but we'll see how it goes and how many I can squeeze in. These are just some of the books that I hope to get to in the month of December. What are you hoping to read in December? If you could only read one book in the month of December, which book would you choose? For me, it would probably be The Keeper of the Lost Cities book, as I've just been dying to get my hands on that. If you've made it this far in the video, leave me red and green hearts in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!